All right, so today we're crushing and pressing at my friend's brewery. The um, reason we're doing that is because right here we have this hammer mill. Um, it, it's awesome because it, it can basically crush about 40 pounds of apples in a minute or two, and they kind of come out like, like toothpaste, basically ready for the press. Um, there is no better way or faster way I have or know of to mill, mill my fruit. So basically the pathway is just simply uh, start the mill up. There's some big blades spinning around inside here. There's a big honking electrical motor. Um, the apples drop through this. There's this bit of a hopper on top through the chute right into this thing. Um, and these spinning blades just come around and, uh, and, and shred the apples. And they're forced through a little screen actually just, just inside here. Um, so, so only apple bits that are sufficiently mushed can even get through the screen. Then they go down and they land in this bin. Um, and, uh, you know, bin might, 40 pounds of apples might only fill it a quarter or a third or something, and then I'm basically ready for the press with that so I can scoop it out uh, to, the, to the next stage. All right, let's start this baby. the must, apple must. That's a pretty light colored one. It's pretty gooey. All right, so uh, before I, I got on to using the big mill for crushing all my apples, this is, this is the first one I ever had. It's a, a totally manual mill. If you take a look, it's got big blades. The apples get dumped right in the hopper and the big, these are really sharp. Blades go around and then the apples are forced down through those two rollers and the uh, crushed must drops into the bin below. All right, so there's a bunch of different milling alternatives for crushing your apples. Um, one way is, you'll, you'll see plans on the internet for a lot of decent ones. One way is, is essentially like a, a wooden roller, um, a, a, a big, like a fat rolling pin with screws sticking out of it, stainless steel screws. You can, you can run that roller up against a, a, a sort of a wood plate and put a hopper in the top of it. The apples drop through and are, are crushed. It's actually called a scratcher, scratcher mill. Um, I've also seen some really cool ones where people take uh, garburators, garbage disposers, um, and modify them. You can't put a lot of apples through quickly, but they work amazingly well at crushing the, crushing the apples. Usually you have to cut every apple in half. If you're just trying to do a 20 liter batch or something, it may be totally worthwhile. You know, you can pick up a, a, an old garbage disposer for, you know, maybe you can pull it out of some old kitchen junk for 10 bucks or for zero, you know. Um, other things people use are, uh, I've seen these kind of devices that basically you drop the apples down a chute and there's kind of like a, a whirring spinning um, blade, also like a garbage disposer but a bit bigger, like basically a, um, a blender blade. And you, people sometimes make their own, you just take stainless and bend the edges up, get a motor on it, um, and the apples drop through a chute, hit the spinning blade, and then the thing's surrounded by a screen. So you can imagine the apples get crushed and then the, the, the crushed up apple material flies, is spun out and flies out the screen into, the, into an outer sort of area um, and, and then all that, that apple must drops out uh, for, you to be, for it to be collected. All right, so let's load this mill. Won't put too much in it first. All right, so let's crank this mill up here. so slow it you kind of think they're not going through but then you look underneath and uh, sure enough the crushed apple is all down there collecting a little pile. Sometimes you have to reverse the crank and wind the other way for a couple turns if the apples get really jammed up or it doesn't seem like it's picking up the apples properly. The reason we hang on to our apples for a few weeks after picking is so that the, the enzymes that are in the apples 
can have time to convert some of those starches into more simple sugars. Um, so those enzymes are naturally present already in the fruit. It's those simple sugars that are uh, fermented by the yeast ultimately to make the cider. The other thing that the other effect is that the fruit softens it during that time and becomes a lot easier to mill. Yeah, sometimes, like right now at the end, it's kind of necessary to uh, unclog these, uh, I don't know what you call them, tines, these blades um, that go around right above the rollers down here, but they're all kind of plugged up. So in order to get the thing finished, get everything through the mill, you got to manually unplug of knives. All right, and you can see these rollers here. That's actually the most important part of this whole thing, not the blades. The blades just kind of assist, but the rollers are really responsible for the crushing of the, the fruit. Now, really, there's not fruit on top, so they're having trouble kind of going down now. So I have to kind of irritate these apples here to make them go down. 